Okay, so for our next story that we have right over here, holy crap, this is something that is right up my alley. Now, this is going to be an upcoming documentary where the subject is on animation. And holy crap, I am a major sucker for those. I love documentaries that talk about animation. Rather it be something like the Pixar story or um, the Ub Iwerk story or uh, my personal favorite would be, what was it, Waking Sleeping Beauty or another really good one just recently that it came out, Life Animated. Like, they're all really fantastic documentaries right over there, and I honestly love them so much. In fact, I actually, I love it so much to the point that I actually would, uh, I, I actually went on to create a top 10 documentaries on animation, and I really did put in a lot of heart into that. But apparently, there seems to be another one that's coming up that is actually gonna be... Another one that's all about animation, but the subject itself is highly interesting. And this is something that I'm just sold by the title alone. And yes, this is going to be a documentary called Welcome to My Daydream, The Story of Will Vinton. And uh, just this week, uh, they uh, the people who worked on it, or specifically uh, the man behind... Uh, Welcome to My Daydream, Mark Evans actually just put up a demo trailer because the thing is, this documentary is not fully complete. As I'm recording this, it's still in the middle of uh, production, but Cartoon Brew actually did put up an exclusive interview and showed the trailer to this, showing how this is going to be looking into the entire story of Will Vinton. And if you guys watch my videos then you probably know that I have actually done an animation lookback segment completely devoted to the works of Will Vinton. If you guys know, uh, the video is called The History of Will Vinton Animation Lookback, The Best of Stop Motion. It's actually one of my longer videos. It's uh, more than 30 minutes, so it's a long watch, but, you know, it definitely is worth it. It's animation lookback. And I do my best to make these things awesome. So uh, definitely go and check it out after this podcast. But honestly, I have done all my research on the works of Will Vinton and what he has done. And it really is fascinating because this is probably one of the biggest rise and fall stories in animation. Because keep in mind, here's the thing with Will Vinton. This is the man who coined the phrase claymation. In fact, there are some people that I know that instead of calling the medium stop motion animation, they would legit just call it claymation. Like they would look at something like Coraline or Kubo and the Two Strings and they'll say, oh, it's a claymation movie. It really did define a generation and especially bringing up such unforgettable characters that really were icons of that decade. Like this is the man who created the California Raisins. And on top of that, he also did plenty of other works. He collaborated with Michael Jackson on several commercials and even uh, lend a helping hand for the movie Moonwalker, where you see Michael Jackson dancing with this giant rabbit. And then there's also the little segment where Michael goes on this crazy adventure. And on top of actually making claymation TV specials, rather it be for Halloween, for Easter, or even for Christmas. And on top of like different TV shows as well, like uh, the PJs, for example, or even like other commercials like the Noid. And they even jumped into com uh, computer animation with uh, the M&Ms guys, where they really brought them to the third dimension and define what these characters are today. But sadly, what ended up happening was that Will Vinton ended up becoming too big for his own good, down to the point where he is way too overstaffed and the shows were not really making as much money as he was hoping for, which ultimately led him to sell the, compl sell the company completely to Nike founder Phil Knight and ultimately put his son in charge and ultimately turn it into what we know today as Leica. 
Now, I'm not saying that Phil Knight and Travis Knight are the villains in this case. I mean, they definitely do work hard and they made the, the you know, they made Leica into an amazing company. And I really do admire Travis Knight because not only is he a CEO, this guy actually works very hard in the creative front as well as the head of animation on every single one of their movies, including being the director of Kubo and the Two Strings. But with all that said, allow me to also uh, read you a little bit of quotes from uh, Mark Evans himself uh, on what he would say, why is it that he's making an entire documentary on Will Vinton? Uh, he stated, the uh, going in my source here on Cartoon Brew, of course, the nostalgia of Will's works brought me right back to being a kid and discovering his works for the first time. What sold me, though, is that Will has truly a great story. I don't want to give away too much uh, of the movie for people that don't know the story, but I became really excited about the potential for a movie when I realized how much material there, uh, there is to work with, and that is certainly true. And on top of that, not only will, will Mark Evans be talking to Will Vinton, but he has gathered so many different interviews and he even interviewed some people that used to work for will vinton and uh going back in my source <clears throat> it says evans has already recorded interviews with do dozens of vinton's associates friends and colleagues among them former vinton uh, vintoners uh like hey arnold creator craig bartell uh Bar oh craig bartlett sorry oscar-winning animator joan gratz uh, Str uh, Strata Cut animation inventor David Daniels, Rogue One animation supervisor Hal, Hicklet, uh, Hal Hickel, and animator Chuck Duke, uh, the guy who is currently working on many different uh, big name stop motion films like he has pre previously done Frank and Weenie, Fantastic Mr. Fox, and now is at work on uh, The Isle of Dogs. But with the trailer that they presented, there are also some other big name animators in there as well. Like, I actually saw that there was an interview with uh, Bill Plimpton, and there was also an interview with uh, Ardman's Peter Lord. So, of course, there's going to be plenty of recognizable names on, like, that are being interviewed as well. But some of you might be curious about two in particular that they would get an interview, and that is actually with the Knights, with Phil and Travis. And uh, Cartoon Brew actually did ask the question right over here, uh, saying that, Will, like a chief, Travis and Phil Knight participate in the documentary as well? Evan certainly hopes so. We have not connected with them yet, but I'm very hopeful to have their participation in the film. I really admire what Travis has done with Laika and am, of course, a fan of his works. And it even stated right over here that considering that it is in the middle of production, it could be highly possible that in the future, uh, Mark Evans is actually going to be opening a crowdfunding campaign to help with some additional fundings to finish up the film. And if that ever happens, if Mark Evans opens up an Indiegogo or a Kickstarter, uh, can you guys do me a favor and please... Tell me immediately if that's going to happen because honestly, I I am going to give my money to this no matter what. This is something that I am fully sold into, not just by the title alone, but looking at the trailer, it does look like it's a huge ambitious project. It looks like it could end up be it could end up becoming something that could be amazing. So, I am honestly really excited to see what this is going, you know, what this could potentially be. And honestly, you know, it's something that I highly encourage you guys as well. Like, if you are familiar with the works of Will Vinton, rather it be with the California Raisins, or even some of his movies that he has worked on, like uh, Moonwalker, uh, Disney's Return to Oz, or even the movie that he completely made himself, the only movie made 100% out of clay, The Adventures of Mark Twain, that this is something... You just got to see for yourself. Like, you definitely have to check out either the the demo trailer or just, honestly, like, apparently it's stated right here that there is also uh, an official website and even a Facebook page. So, honestly, I'm going to keep myself updated on this. This sounds like a really awesome project. And I really do wish the best for Mark Evans. 
uh, to completely do justice on this entire story of Will Vinton. I personally know it myself, uh, doing a lot of the research myself, doing, uh, you know, l learning about the history of Will Vinton. And yeah, it's going to be nice to know, like, what Will Vinton has been up to lately. And it's going to be a really nice update to this uh, fantastic story. So there's no release date for it yet, but... Yeah, honestly, I'm really excited to see what's up with this.